today I am going to be crocheting with you guys. So, I just did a jewelry live, but I'm going to be doing a crocheting live. So, I am actually making a chicken, and this is Bernat Blanket Tweeds yarn. So, yeah. So, since I am making a chicken, and this is a bot pattern, I can't necessarily say the pattern out loud, but yeah. This is by Oak and Marlo. This is their chicken pattern on Etsy. So, I'm just gonna... Kind of like an odd angle to film in since I'm doing stuff, but I'm gonna try my best to just adapt with it. Okay, that was really strange. It like kicked me off the live. But, it's okay okay so i'm just increasing okay actually i can't really tell you guys sorry for that but yeah if you guys have any questions any i don't know concerns um yeah i'll be free to answer them i don't know usually i'm a very very chatty person but i don't really know what to talk about like i don't really talk about myself I talk about you guys i don't know but literally i'm just doing i'm just going with the flow and this is oaken marlow pattern it is a really cute chicken so this is perfect for markets and i am using a bernat blanket tweed yarn so yeah if you want to make bracelets while watching this or just crochet with me that is perfect i am done with round two now i have to do round three which is just literally repetitive of round two so i'm going to rewrap my finger around I've got one stitch marker I'll put three again. So it's actually odd because so once you make a live after that it goes private. But I'm gonna make my lives public because if I'm going live for every one of you guys to see, then why should it be private? Like when I go on other YouTubers who I know have had previous lives and I go to their previous lives, it shows that they haven't had any, which when I ended my last live, it said that it's gonna be like private. So after it like, like kind of uploads, I'm gonna public it because I don't grow. I made a really cute bracelet. So um, yeah, I want everyone to see it because I spent time, I worked on the live. Okay, so here I am just working on this pattern um if you have any questions comment them down below just getting like messages and stuff okay here you go i am back in the flow okay one <laughs> Two, I'm almost done with this round, so I'm actually very excited. Well, this round, not this project, like, at all. This project has how many rounds? Uh, 12 rounds, and I just finished round three. Okay, round four, so round three and two were very repetitive. So, yeah, of course I can zoom out. So, round two and three are very repetitive, so I'm going to do round four. Which, again, I wish I could tell you guys the pattern, but since this is a pattern that I got off of Etsy, you guys can go support Oak and Marlo for Etsy shop. So here is two. And then, again, leave any questions down below, any requests, and if you have, yeah, any complaints, but there shouldn't be any complaints. <laughs> okay. Um, here I'm just increasing, and now I'm gonna, um, I'm just looking at the pattern. I'm trying to stay in frame, but it's a little bit difficult. So I go in. So, 
I am mainly doing single crochets, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So you go into the next stitch, you pull the loop through, so you have two strands, you pull a third loop, and you pull it all through that, and that's a single crochet. Put it in, put it in, oh my gosh, my tension's whack. Put it in, pull it through, pull the third one through, and you're done. And an increase stitch is basically you do two of those, but inside the same stitch. So that way you have like, if you count your stitches again, you have two stitches. So I'm gonna keep doing the pattern. One, two, three. And if you guys have any comments or anything comment them down below i'm just i think it's called slack when you have yarn kind of just like chilling because it really helps your tension so i think i'm doing an increase now so i'm gonna wrap yarn twice increase and then one two Final increase in the last stitch. Okay, I know to you guys this probably sounds like gibberish, but I don't know. See me if this clicks. And this is gonna look like a tiny chicken. Actually, not really, because this is like the body. And once you stuff it, so this is what I have so far. Um, he's special. It's okay. Um, next is oh, okay. Next is already starting to make the body. So we're gonna single crochet and back loops only and back loops only. So when you make a stitch, there's like, it looks like almost like a braid, like if you braid your hair. So there's like two loops, so back loops only. And then I'm crocheting a chicken for anybody who is just tuning in. So this is a pattern by Oak and Marlo on Etsy. So definitely go check it out. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but since I have a market and I'm going to be selling these for around, depends what size, like 10 bucks. So it's going to, I don't know, it pays off the pattern. I believe the pattern's like 550, which I don't know, but I actually love purchasing patterns. Like I purchased a pickle. Um, what are you making? I am making a crochet chicken. So, yeah, crocheting is different from knitting. So crocheting is with one hook and you, so amigurumi is what I'm making. So amigurumi is, so ami, A-M-I, is like the Japanese word for stuffed, uh, like toys and dolls and gurumi is making them out of yarn. So no matter what way you do it, either knitting or crocheting, Hi Atlantic Arts. So I am doing crocheting. I'm trying to get into like a position. Hey, why is it focusing on my hand? That's not what I'm trying to show you guys. Okay, I'm only going like sideways here, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, so this is working the back loops only. I heard at Atlantic Arts that you're gonna try crocheting. I wanna know if you did start because I don't know. When I started to learn how to crochet, I basically just sat down with my laptop in front of me and from like some cheap acrylic yarn that I got at like the Dollar Tree or something. And it very, it, it discouraged me a lot because I could not get the yarn to work. <clears throat> but, oh my gosh, why is my voice like that? <clears throat> but I like to watch the Wooboos videos. So now we're just single crocheting around. So again, a single crochet is where, okay, we're gonna have like a little bit of lesson. Let me adjust the camera. Lesson time, you guys. You're gonna put your hook in, take it through. So you have two on the loop. Pull a third one through, pull it through both. And it makes like a chain. Put it in, third one, pull it through. Except this is supposed to be like towards the back. And now I hold my yarn like this, put it around my pinky, and I go like this. So let's do that again. We're gonna pull 
through, pull through, go in. So this is a chicken pattern by Oak Egg Marlo on Etsy. And it literally comes out to be like one of the cutest chickens ever. And so, you know, like the red part that's on a chicken? Yeah, that's called a comb, like a comb. Like how cute is that? And so um, I don't really have like a uh, an orange chenille yarn. I only have like a yellow, but oh my gosh, you guys, um, I did not know how much yarn it takes to make stuff. Like I made like a bunny head and an ear and it took like, like 70% of a skein. And like the skein is Sweet Snuggles yarn from Michaels. And y'all know that that is, maybe y'all don't know, but tip you guys, Sweet Snuggles from Michaels is so expensive. It's $10 for a ski. But you guys, the stitches look so bus. The stitches, like, oh my gosh. Like you look at them. So this is Bernat Blanket Tweeds. Um, here's the whole skein for comparison. So it kind of looks like like salt and pepper almost. But this whole row is just single crochet around. So this is very repetitive. But it's okay because... Okay, I think my favorite crochet thing to make is probably... I don't know. Maybe a bumblebee. Because I really enjoy... Making bumblebees one sec. Let me get the stitch marker. Um, one second. Okay, I'm so close. Okay. Oh, wait, my stitch marker, DBTX Haunted. What's your least favorite thing to crochet? Oh, my least favorite. Okay, I don't really know if it's crocheting, but I don't like sewing okay i know that's like almost every crochet youtuber you watch oh my goodness you guys i hate sewing and when i first started sewing so it's when you make amigurumi so let's say let me get an example for you guys so i made this axolotl body last night look how cute he is okay, zoom out and so this is a fin and as you guys can see it literally looks so weird without the fin so i had to sew the fin this like gill part on and i have to embroider his face i have to make the other fin and then i think on his little tiny tail there should be little two things but about sweet snuggles yarn i made this bunny head so you guys can see like the very nice and uniform stitches but i think this you guys the bunny ear is literally it was so time consuming but it is literally so worth it. So now I am putting some slack on the yarn, meaning I am like letting some yarn dangle, letting some loose so it can help with my tension. So if you guys have any other questions, comment them in the live chat. So, yeah, you guys. Um, <laughs> I think I've repeated this a lot of times, but... I see there are new viewers coming in, so I don't want you guys coming in and be like, girl, what is she making, a salt and pepper shaker? No, I'm not making a salt and pepper shaker. I am making a chicken, and the pattern is by Oak and Marlo. So what I learned by watching other crocheters, like their YouTube videos and stuff, is that you are able to make um, like people's patterns, and you're able to sell them, but you just have to credit them for the patterns. Because, y'all, making patterns is very time-consuming. It is very hard to do. So, again, if you guys have any comments, questions, comment them down below in the live chat. If you guys are watching, comment down below a white heart, just so I know. So, I want to see who here is really watching, really listening. So, comment down below a white heart <sighs> la, 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 la. okay i reached the stitch marker oh my gosh okay Ooh, guess what the next row is another row of repetitive single crochet that's okay oh my favorite thing to do is like put on my headphones watch another crochet or crochet try out some patterns people go yarn shopping and just sit down get in the zone and you know i don't even mind doing repetitive single crochets because then i don't have to have the pattern right next to me and be like discommunicate uh this 
I don't know, like when you're in the zone, you know, when you're in the zone, you kind of know what is happening or, oh my gosh, wait, why am I actually describing this about? When you're in the zone, you're in the zone. You are repetitive, you're going repetitive, you're not really thinking. And when you have to look over and read the pattern, find out where you are, it kind of breaks the zone. We have, have you made a chicken before? Oh, and a white heart. Um, yes, I have made three chickens before. I made my first ever chicken, I gifted to my grandma. And I made a chicken before with this Bernat like tweed yarn. I got this from Joann's. And I also gifted it to my grandma. And I made like a fat chicken. Like, she's a bit, she's a, she's a bit, she's a fatty. That's okay, body positivity here. Um, and so, yeah, she is actually in my crochet bin. So if you wanna see, I can take a little pause and I can show you guys because y'all, I love making these chickens because yes, they are repetitive, but I think they're gonna be a great seller to market. Okay, I'm looking at the pattern and whoa, guess what's after this, you guys? <laughs> trivia, <laughs> trivia check. Um, another rose and crochet. Okay, this is one of the most annoying part is making slack on your yarn. Okay, I have to like drop it and like put it back. Oh my goodness. Okay. Last row of single crochet before we get into something interesting. So you guys might think, okay, let me put my stitch marker and then I'll show you guys what it looks like so far because you guys are probably just seeing something round. So this is what I have so far. So actually, let me grab my fat chicken so you guys can see a comparison. Okay, I'm gonna keep talking, but okay, here is my little fatty chicken okay, look how cute he's so round he's so round okay so here's my fat my fatty chicken so this is what i have so far so this is the bottom and you see it's gonna curve up and i'm gonna sew it to be like a triangle at his little tiny comb okay how long does the chicken take for you to make so I have never time myself, so I started this live right when I started making the chicken, and I am 16 minutes and 40 seconds in, and I am on row t Actually, let me count my stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, wait, wait. No, I messed up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am on row 10 so and there are 12 rows so i'm guessing this chicken's gonna take me about 25 minutes to make which i think is a pretty good time to make a chicken oh, wait i told you guys i'm on my last row version, so i have to finish that so yeah thanks for commenting down below questions i appreciate all of you guys if anybody else has any questions or if you have more questions let me know and i'll answer them so i am so excited because you guys learning a new hobby i know crochet is like very intimidating and it might be like oh my gosh you guys what is an hdc what is a dc what is an s what is an slst um single crochet half double crochet double crochet and a slip stitch so and i've only been crocheting for two weeks so I think that kind of says something. It says that if you really put your mind, okay, I know a lot of cringy people say that. Not cringy, but like they're like, guys, sunshine and rainbows. If you put your mind to it, you can do it. Um, you actually could. That's the thing. You can do it. And I believe in you guys. Like, y'all, I can make like a beginner tutorial because, except I'm not even that much of a beginner myself. But if you guys are having trouble starting the magic ring then there's like a second way to do it okay are you done with jewelry and will you just be doing this so for my channel of course no my whole channel is around jewelry and i still love doing this but just for this live stream this is a crochet and chat with me because i did a jewelry live stream and i only have like like zero viewers but that's okay so i am doing this i'm crocheting a pickle while watching this Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I actually did crochet a pickle before and I used Bernat blanket yarn. And I, what's it called? I did make a pickle, but then my brother, I gave it to my brother for his birthday. 
and yeah he actually loves his pickle so that's awesome i love that and then so next is round 10 which is uh three single crochet and then a decrease so i'm gonna one single so yeah i am making a chicken i want to know your guys's favorite yarn like i don't know i heard a lot of people saying that bernat blanket is their like go-to but i feel like bernat blanket like it squeaks a little bit i don't know if you're a crocheter you'll know that problem but i don't know it squeaks okay i messed up i did a single when i'm supposed to do a decrease that's okay you guys okay i know frogging your know, pattern is like super sad but you guys frogging is literally so satisfying to me so i'm gonna finish this chicken i mean if you guys hear that like little dangling noise that's my bracelets like touching the tray one, two, three, decrease. I want to know your guys' favorite crochet stitch. Like, I feel like crochet stitches, there's so many. And I'm, on my YouTube shorts feed, it's like, here is the Quandale Lego Corn Pickle Maze stitch. I'm like, oh, how aesthetic. And it, like, turns out to be, like, like, like triangles on top of triangles. And I'm like, oh, wow, how cute. But I think my favorite stitch is... Probably a single crochet, you guys. No, actually, my favorite stitch is a bobble stitch. Um, I heard so many people saying that bobble stitches are annoying. Okay, I want to see the bracelets you're wearing. Yes, of course. So I have this one that I made. It said, life is good. This is from Backward Jewelry and Offer Up. This is um, also by Backward Jewelry on OfferUp. She has this, except she doesn't necessarily have these play bead charms. And then next, I have this Pure Vita bracelet. And then I have this cute little seed bead with the butterfly. I have a pearl with a little fish. And then I have a little monkey that I'm matching with my friend. And then I have a flower one. On this side, I usually wear my apple watch but it is charging i have a wwjd from my friend nicole and i have my very beloved vivian westwood bracelet and then i have this cute little flower bracelet so i don't know i feel i love wearing jewelry and um i would show you guys my necklaces but um <laughs> no face reveal for you guys but I don't know it's just i don't really know how to describe it but i feel like just wearing jewelry is just like a part of me and it looks like kind of strange but girly that's not you but it's just like oh my goodness it shows how to express my true self um no i just enjoy wearing them okay you guys he's looking so he's looking like a cup like if i make like a handle like hey guys welcome back to the video today i'm gonna be spilling the tea okay um oh my gosh y'all single crochet around <gasps> wait this is my second to last um second to last row round row is when you're making clothing and stuff and round is when you're making um and then we're gonna sew and then we're gonna be completed so this is taking me 23 minutes so far okay i don't know how many times i have to do this but i have to do slack again Okay, maybe I just keep my yarn on the floor. Um, <clears throat> I'm just single crocheting around. For all the new viewers, I am making a chicken, and the pattern is by Oak and Marlo on Etsy. And you guys, y'all, if you are beginner crocheter, or if you're just a crocheter in general, and you want to just start making patterns, like after you're done watching videos and you <clears throat> you kind of got the hang of it you guys if you go on instagram like and if you guys don't have instagram maybe your parents have instagram um you just search up like free crochet patterns and you guys there are so many people who have free crochet patterns like it's like kind of shocker like the bunny that i showed you guys earlier i can show you guys again but y'all that was a free pattern and i like, so many people um, in the crochet community are so generous, and 
I want to design a pattern myself, but I don't know what to make because a lot of stuff is already designed. Okay, this is where we're at so far. He's like a little round. He's a little round. It's okay. Um, I'm going to stuff him soon. Next is two single crochet and then a decrease. So we're going to do single crochet. For all the new people, this is what it is. You put your hook in the stitch, loop it around, and you pull it through. So you have two. Take a third one and pull it through. And so every beginning round, I put a stitch marker just so I keep track, just so I don't have to be like one, two, three, four, five. Uh, no. So this one is two single, and then a decrease is you put it in, you grab it, and you put it in the next stitch. So you have three. It's like focusing on like the wrong parts, and then you pull it through. So yeah, I'm gonna do the rest of this. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, what is this in the back? This is my washi tape dispenser. So I think I loaded it wrong, but yeah, actually I did load it wrong. So, oh, okay, this one would work. But after you take it, I need two hands for this. Basically do it like this and then you can dispense any amount of washi tape that you want. So, if you want to, like, yossify your candle or something. Actually, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm going to throw this piece away. I don't know why I did that. I was just showing you guys what it was. And then, um, so, okay. It's like, let me do this. What candle smeal is the art? You guys, I love my candle smeal. This is, um, this is by Hearth and Hand. Smell it, you guys. Mm, delicious. Um, I think it's like salt. <laughs> it smells like salt. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. We don't accept haters around here. We we love, I love candles. So we are thirty minutes in, and we are on our last row of the chicken, and then we're gonna start sewing. So this is a pattern by Oak and Milo on Etsy. On Etsy. I'm like going like full crochet mode. You guys are probably looking like a mad woman. It's okay. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, I need to slow down. I'm literally messing up. Okay. Woohoo! Let me do my last decrease and then, yay! Thanks for letting us know. Yeah, of course. I don't know. It smells really good. It smells like it smells like ocean saltiness. I don't know. Um, woohoo! Last decrease. Now, okay, he's not looking like a chicken, but now we have to sew and stuff and then add eyes. So this is called FO fastening off. You're gonna extend your hoop really big and you're gonna like pull this through and you're gonna cut it. So you're basically just pulling a string through. Okay. Okay, I need to like adjust my camera. There you go. There you go. Look how cute he is. Now let me go get my stuffing. Um, I will be literally like four seconds, like one, two, three, four. And um, another life hack that I have is if you have scrap yarn, such as like this, that you're not gonna be using. Okay, actually I could use this. Hold up, I'm gonna use that to sew. Um, then maybe we just insert it into your project and it'll work as stuffing. So you'll be a economical, no, you'll be a resourceful queen. So we're gonna put this in. And here's just extra yarn that I have. And look at that, you guys. Oh wait, not this, that's the yarn that I'm using. Um. There you go. <clears throat> now I'm gonna grab stuffing. So this is actually a hat that I made, but since it is still summer where I live, I'm not wearing it. So next to my bed, I have it full of stuffing just so I don't have to go to my closet. So it's like next to my yarn stash just so I don't have to go to my closet every time I need stuffing. So now we're just gonna, I'm gonna make him a little plump. Look how cute he is. Okay, he's not actually cute. 
Now we're gonna add eyeballs. So let me get my little box of eyeballs. So we have six millimeter, 10 millimeter, 16, 20, 24. Can I see the bag you pulled the fluff from? Yeah. So it is not actually a bag, it is a cat hat. So it has two sides, but I'm just using this as a bag. So after you put it on your head, I feel like it would bend down on your head. So, oh my goodness, you guys, look at how cute this is. <gasps> Yo, so cute. And look at this little octopi. Oh, why is it doing like a black thing? I think because the lamp is right that. This is a really cute phone charm. There's that. We have a little puka shell. Oh, what are these strips coming from? Chicken is a she, a rooster is a he. Okay, my bad. Um, did I say he? Okay, it's okay. So we're gonna put the fluff back into my hat. Um, okay, so I have another scrap yarn, which I'm just gonna pop inside. See, like, this is literally filled to, like, scrap yarn. Like, oh my gosh, that's literally so cool, so cool. Okay. Um, now I am, what am I going to do? All oh, right, I have to sew it. So this is called a darning needle. And to sew, I'm going to have to grab another yarn bit. I hope you do a bead tutorial next. Love your inventory. Yeah, actually, before this live stream, I did do a full live stream showing you guys how to make a bracelet, my process. But yeah. No one was really there for that, but you know what? That's okay. Because if we just rely on, oh my gosh, I didn't get views or followers. No one is ever going to be happy because no one is ever, I don't know. And if you look at your views, like I have one viewer right now who's watching. That's one person who's watching me do what I love. That is one person who cares about what I'm doing. And that's one person who's supporting me and my business. And that right there, that's like, oh my goodness, that's a whole entire human being who is supporting you. And imagine that they were there in person supporting you, cheering you on. Like, that just makes you so motivated. And I almost have a thousand, a thousand people who, who are loving what I'm doing and who are supporting me along my journey. And that to me is just crazy. I missed it. We'll watch it ASAP. Is, uh, is it uploaded? So once you make a live video, it, it like, it uploads and then it saves to, um, it saves to like private. So after this vlog, so technically right now it's private, but I'm going to make it public so people can rewatch my old lives because I think that's kind of strange because if people make a live, of course I want to see it again because then you get to see like the comments and there's like a rerun. Hi, Pear, Perix, bracelet, <laughs> underscore backup. Um, I am just sewing this. <gasps> Wait, I forgot to add a safety eyes. Okay, that's okay. I'm just gonna hot glue them on. <laughs> Except I don't think I have enough time to hot glue right now on the live. Oh my gosh, hi. <gasps> Beaded by Zelly. Oh my gosh, hello. I'm literally such a big fan. Your videos are like so amazing. Um, I am... Okay, done sewing the chicken. He is literally such a cutie patootie. Now I'm going to insert the eyes and then after I love your channel. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, you guys are literally so sweet. Um, I'm inserting his little eyes. I'm going to secure them after. So here are his little eyeballs. Oh my gosh, you guys. He's literally such a cutie patootie. When you finish the chicken, you should give it a name. You're literally so right. Um, I'm going to let you guys name him because my other chickens that I made... Um, I didn't name them. I just gave them to my grandma. So, I think I definitely should name it. Yo, he's so stinking cute. Okay, the next part, I need to be very careful and tedious about this. Um, because I have not a lot of yellow left. Oh my gosh, wait, it literally just fell down. Oh my gosh, don't even, I love your videos so much. Girl, you're literally so sweet. No, your videos, they're so like... They're so relaxing, like they're so clean. <laughs> is that a chicken? Yes, it is. Um, I'm actually making his 
uh what is it called like his beak right now but as you can see my yarn's kind of um my yarn's kind of not yarning as it should yarn so i'm gonna like pretend to have like a a user error thing okay oh my gosh no okay never mind i got it okay sorry about that i'm gonna cut a little bit of this yarn and i'm gonna put it on a darning needle it's so cute, bro. I wish I had the patience for that. Oh my gosh, thank you. Yeah, I started this when the live started. So 34 minutes and 45 seconds ago. So yeah, almost 40 minutes. Well, it's gonna be about 40 minutes once I'm fully done. But now I'm just embroidering on his little beak, which I actually love embroidering on little smiles and little beaks because it literally adds so much personality. Like the difference, okay. Ignore that his eye just fell out. I need to hot glue them in. But you guys, look! He's so stinking cute. And now, so these are the yarn scraps that I'm talking about. So usually people would throw these away. But I'm going to save it for stuffing. Um, Yeah, actually making crochet animals. So my first chicken literally took me an hour and a half. My first crab took me like two hours. And now I can make a crab in 15 minutes. Because I've just learned um, I tried to crochet once, but it was hard. I don't know how to do it. You're the best. Oh, thank you. No, it literally, it just takes, it just takes practice and practice. And you have to just stay consistent with it. Like, if you're just trying to do it and you just, like, you do this single crochet and it doesn't work out, then maybe try to do something else. So, I am now making his, what's his called? It's, oh my gosh, what is called? It's comb. So I'm using red, and instead of a 6 millimeter, I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. Wait, can I see all your crochet animals? Okay. Um, I actually have a massive bin. So let me bring it on the side of my desk, and then yes, I will show you guys my stuff. So first is I have this squid, and it goes pop. So it's squid pop. And then I have this bumblebee. I don't know. He's he's very strange. He's very strange. I have this turtle. So it's supposed to be a turtle. It's supposed to have like a head like this. But it's okay. We have a crabby crab. This is a pattern by Miss A Crochet. And then we have... Um, um, it's a cat, but I did a really bad sewing job. <laughs> Um, a penguin slash bird, I think. I'm not sure. Um, little whale keychain. This one is really cute. I like this one. Thank you. Um, I'm just gonna call you, so it's Parix X bracelets, but I think, like, Paris. Okay, look at the little gray crabby. Very cute. Um, I love this bee. I actually sold a bee, so this isn't my, so I'm supposed to have another one. Y'all, it's a blueberry bee. Look how stinking cute it is. Um, also, what that means is I kind of ran out of black. Next, we have, um, don't mind, it's a little bit dirty. It used to be like a light pink. My little sister took it. Uh, it's another crab. Then we have like a fatty whale. He's a little fatty. So I actually really love him. Next, we have a mushroom pop. So it's a mushroom, but it goes pop. And I really like this one. He's literally such a cute duty. And we have, what is this? Oh, right. Uh, a little rat. And he came in a mushroom house. So here's his little mushroom house. So it's a rat and a mushroom house. Oh my goodness, the blueberry bee is adorable. Thank you. He's literally such a cutie pie. Here, I'll show you guys again. Oh my gosh, y'all, my like desk is shaking. He's literally so cute, and I love the blush. And then a work in progress that I have. Okay, wait, actually, I'm gonna show you my plushies all before I show you the work in progress. Is I have this little acrylic whale. Um, this one took me a little bit too long to make just because it's acrylic. We have a deformed mushroom pop. He's not as popping. He doesn't pop in the game as much. Um, yeah, you know that. Um, another whale. Oh my gosh, Vita Bizella, you're literally so you're literally so clean. You're literally so snake. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, y'all, what is wrong? I'm really so clumsy. Um, he just belongs, he belongs to the mental hospital. Um, okay, now my work in progress is I'm working on this axolotl. Dude, we are both so close to 1K. I know, right? Um, I think I have like 930, so I'm gonna be so grateful. And look at this, he has little tiny frills. <laughs> Um, and then I think my biggest project, oh wait, I forgot, I have more stuff. Okay, um, it's like on my bed because I love them so much. Is this little dragonfly, look how cute he is. He's literally a cutie patootie. And then um, next we have, um, I'm not really the biggest fan of this. It's like a big turtle. Um, he's got a mid. I don't know. It was my first ever like big project, so I didn't really expect the most. But I'm about to show you guys the thing that I'm most proud of. It is not this one. This one also deserves a mental hospital. Um. Look at him. He's a cow. Look at how sweet he is. He has. He's a little floppy, he's a little floppy. And I don't know, he's so cute. Like I literally wanna squeeze him. He's so huggable too. Like, y'all, I literally love him. He's like my bestie. We have the exact same amount and number of subs. Oh my gosh, that's literally so crazy. Um, so yeah, <laughs> now, oh my gosh, it's adorable, thank you. It literally took me like, like a day and a half. Not straight because that'd be kind of crazy. But like two days of just like randomly working on it, and then I've done more stuff. Um, oh, and here's my fatty chicken, he's a bit obese, but that's okay. Cuteness overload. Oh my gosh, you guys, you guys are literally the best. Okay, I want to start working on these chicken little frillies. So, or it's called this comb. So, comb is chain one. So, I'm gonna, you guys, hashtag non-sponsor tutorial so i'm gonna do a slip stitch now we're gonna chain one making the comb oh y'all i got these bamboo okay chain chain one and second chain from hook oh chain three okay one two three and second chain from hook, half a double crochet. Okay, the chicken, I know, right? I'm literally making this comb right now. Okay, crocheting is literally so fun because it's so rewarding. Like after you're done, like so is jewelry making, but you get like a cute little plushie. Okay, he's just sitting there, He he's so polite. He's a, he's a little gentleman. He's waiting for me to make his comb. I'm not done yet. Um, Half double crochet, slip stitch, that's it? What? No way. Oh. Okay, I've, I've made this pattern like four times, but I didn't know it was that easy. Um, I'm gonna do a double crochet just because it's too small and I wanna stack it. So double crochet, pull it through the first two, pull it through the second two, and then slip stitch. Okay, there you go. That looks taller. So that's how you know, or at least that's how I know that I've gotten pretty good at crocheting that if I want to improvise something, I know what kind of stitches will make it look good. So now I'm going to fasten off. <clears throat> I'm making a bracelet right now. Any ideas? Hmm. You should make um, like the color palette of this. Like you should do like a white and a brown and insert instead of red, like insert like a, like a salmon or like a teal color. You know, so it'd be like based off the chicken. Also, um, I need name ideas for the chicken. So you guys, if you have any name ideas, and there was another person in this chat who is uh, making a pickle. And I have made uh, a pickle before. And yeah, you guys, pickles are literally, so, are literally, they're literally so fun to make. Okay, um, I did kind of a bad job of sewing. So this comb is gonna be a little interesting. 
yeah oh my gosh okay you know what that's okay that's okay because um i'm still considered myself actually i don't even know because when do you consider yourself a beginner or not because hmm, that's a question that i should like research because when you're a beginner at crocheting i think it's like less than a year or something and i've been only doing this for two weeks so meaning i am a beginner but then i know all the stuff and i can follow a an intermediate tutorial i don't know i'm a fast learner at name it spots or freckles oh my gosh i literally love spots that's so cute you guys are so creative um yeah i think spots it's gonna be like a little mascot it's gonna be like a little not inside joke but like people who go to the live yeah mm -hmm, they know spots so now i'm putting on his little tiny comb i'm sewing on his little comb oh we have seven viewers <gasps> that's a lot you guys thank you so much okay y'all y'all 45 minutes in except i was chit chatting so it usually takes me like 30 minutes to make a chicken and and you guys he's literally so cutie patootie or pepper <gasps> salt and pepper i love that i think i think i'm gonna name him pepper and then i think my second one i'll name him like spots because i really like spots but i think pepper and there you go chicken reveal he's literally so cutie patootie he's actually like my favorite thing like not ever but i literally love him so much okay um if you guys want me thank you dbcx if you guys want me to make another live stream where i crochet let me know because this was way too much fun and i really enjoy live streaming i don't know also i have like these really funny cat stickers so so i think we should look at them um i have this long one this paper bag one this one Oh my gosh, this one's a little silly goofy guy. Oh, I like this one with the shower curtain. Oh, okay. I have been, so it has been 46 minutes since I started live streaming and I made this chicken. So I want to say, you guys, thank you so much for watching. She is a tall queen chicken. You are completely right. She is a slayer. She's a real slayer. And so I think we're going to end this live stream by uh, lighting this candle because you guys, it's not a fire hazard. <gasps> Yo, I like burnt the side of this. Never mind. Okay. Um, want to go live together. Um, um, I have to see by my schedule, but do you know what time you would want to go live? Like, um, I, I'll see what I have to do today because I might be able to go live like in a couple minutes again, but I have to, I think I'm going to get a snack and then possibly I'll go live your wall. That's okay. That's okay. I'm going to wipe it. It's okay now. Okay. Yeah. Let me go quickly get a snack and then I'll see if I can go live. Okay. Perfect. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for naming my little chicken. Okay, goodbye guys.